bumper sticker in front of me says, I love guns and coffee. That is when you know you are in a drive-thru in Texas. So because she doesn't have the coffee yet, and she likes guns, I'm assuming I should just patiently wait my turn. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen Nelson, AKA the designer in jeans. As you can see, I've already been through the Starbucks drive through got myself a chai tea latte with almond milk to start the day. And I also got the egg white roasted pe red pepper and egg white bites, so good. So already grubbed on those. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this coffee and well, this tea and we are going to hit the stores even though it's raining. Okay, so we're at, at home. We're having a lot of success. Yay. But I am actually gonna look for a piece of art now to pull this look together. And again, I'm going for kid friendly. So let's see what we can find. So my initial thought flopped. I was going just going for kids like themed, but their kids section was really small for the artwork. So we're rebooting. Honorable mention, just because he's adorable and has the right colors. <laughs> Who doesn't need that guy staring at you for a whole holiday? So that was successful. We got everything we need to make this not so scary kid display for Halloween and I'm on here asking, does anyone else feel like they need a snack to leave the store? I wish I had picked something up. I literally just had the eggs and I don't know if it's protein or what, but it's time to eat again. I am working out, but I cannot keep up with my eating. I do not understand. I don't know if it's just the more protein I eat, the hungrier I get, but this is crazy. How am I supposed to get anything done in between? <laughs> I'm having mints. We're going to, we're going to make it through guys. We're going to head home, have a snack. That's the next step. Forgot I had one more stop. I needed to go to HEB for some more pumpkins. So yay, I got a snack. I'm going to make it home. So we have made it home. Here's our goodies. Here's our art that we had to change to. And we've got some really cool, fun pieces to make a good, quick design that is kid-friendly and a little spooky for the little ones. Gingy's in the spirit. You wanna show him your, your baby? She's trying to show you her baby. We just got this for her and she is so excited. So I am standing in front of the display right now. As you can see, I've already created this display for y'all. But what I wanted to do this week, just to kind of change it up a little bit, because I have been doing a lot of setups for you, I wanted to show you two different ways to use the same items. So I have it set up like there's center. I kind of divided it so you could see right and left. So I am going to get out of the way so you can see the actual design. The one piece that is the same in both are the dimension I added with the bats. So we have, these are just those peel and stick bats that you can find. I just have them. I have a lot of texture on my wall, so it does tend to like pop off a little bit. So I've had to use some pressure in putting those on. But as you can see, I have a ton of texture on my wall. So the lesser the amount of texture, the better for any of these like peel and stick designs. But this is so fun for adding the dimension without having to purchase, you know, a ton of little things. So we have the bats going here. And the way I did the bats is I wanted them to start coming up this way, and then they were flying this way. So as you saw in the video, I was hoping for some kid-themed piece of art, but I didn't get lucky enough. So I ended up finding this just textured white art. And I love the simplicity of it because that, it adds an element of design because of the brush strokes. And then I found this super cute wreath that I knew I could tie in all the colors that I wanted. So I went ahead and did that and I just have it hanging over that. So that is how we created the level of dimension just coming off the wall, not even to mention what we've done here. So as you can see, I, I used real pumpkins. I picked up two sets of the small ones. So I just got orange and then I got some that had the white with the orange. 
And I would like you to take this design and kind of divide it in your head of left and right. So the first way I designed it was over here. So again, the backdrop, all the bats. And then this is the way I designed the right side. So the right side, using the same exact elements, I just played with what I have in the back and where I placed this guy. So you're gonna have, you're gonna start with the garland. And I went with the fall colors just for the kiddos to make it brighter. And these leaves are awesome. They're just two garlands again, like I had done in the first video. And then this guy was fun. He is silly, not super creepy. So I picked him up and I placed him on this side and I wanted to layer in front of the painting to give again that, that divide. So I did this little guy. I have him kind of crawling up onto the pumpkins on this side. And I picked this one up, which I love. He is, of course, candy corn painted. So he's fun. And then I have this. This is actually fake as well. You could do this with a real one. And then behind it, I have both pieces that are behind on both sides stacked on three books. So with that, again, the, the books, I would like you to wrap them. This is just how I've done it to display it for y'all. But you would wrap them if it was going to stay up longer or if you have a second floor, people can see that as well. So behind him, there's just one real pumpkin and another real pumpkin in front. I have a pumpkin on the end. Those are just kind of added little touches. So this is one side. And then the other side, if you look at it from this way, I just moved the position of this guy. So on this side, I wanted him to give me a higher element. And I used the pumpkin that's sitting on the books on the other side. I put him up front just at a tilt. And again, this is three books back here. And then again, I have that adorable candy corn pumpkin that I wanted. And instead of him crawling up the pumpkins on the other side, I have him crawling up the wall art, which is super cute. And what's really fun about these guys is a they look very whimsical which of course is great for kids but this is a tree topper so this is what i want you guys to always remember look at items the way you can use them differently you do not have to use that just because it says tree topper does not mean it has to be a tree topper this guy actually that thing helps him stand really well so i've been able to tilt him in many different directions as you can see so we can duplicate of course and create this exact side on this side if you like it better or this one on that side or if you can't decide you could set it up just like this so i'm going to go ahead and shoot some photos of it half and half i'm going to go ahead and shoot some photos of it balanced all this side and i'm going to do some where it's this setup on both sides as well here's a close-up of that right side duplicated. This overall look from far back. And now we're going to redo it and do it the way I had the left side initially set up on both sides. So here is, if you like the left side with this guy on the books instead of right in the center, and then you can tweak this guy a little. Remember, everything is just going back, setting it where you want. One of the best things I can teach y'all would be step back. So when you're in front of something, you see it one way, right? It looks like it makes total sense. And so when you step back, you can catch something that you didn't when you were up close. So that goes for hanging photos. That goes for everything. But so cute so again the bats are the same everything's the same just where these guys are and where the spiders are so that is your two looks using same items so i hope this gave you some great ideas and you are ready to go out and grab this stuff again everything came from at home no this is not sponsored i just love the store i love the variety they have there so everything came from there i will put the prices in the description happy decorating i will see you again next week with a totally different vlog um, we won't be doing any more halloween tablescapes but we will be doing some other fun stuff bye have a great weekend